Hey folks, how we doing today? It's me again, Shannon Fox here, Devoted Patriots 2 channel, and I have got some clips for you here, some of the highlights of the Republican debate the other day. Um, most people don't watch that stuff because we know Trump is already going to be the primary winner. Uh, there's no need for all this stuff to happen other than there's a lot of people involved making money off promoting these candidates. I believe that's the main reason a lot of them haven't dropped out. If any of these candidates actually love this country, they would be more worried about getting rid of Joe Biden and this evil regime administration uh, that comes along with him, including these corrupt uh, uh, three-lettered agency uh, figureheads, uh, the Christopher Rays, people like that. Uh, Merrick Garland, Blinken, uh, Mayorkas, there's so many of them that just got to go. If uh, you really want the best thing for this country and you know you can't win, they should immediately bow out and throw their support for President Trump. Because Trump will be the 2024 nominee. <clears throat> None of these other people stand a chance. I think they know it, but I think they're, they're either under contract or they're making plenty of money off their uh, little pit piddly campaigns. But one thing I can say about the Republican debate, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, who I do like, I don't like all of his politics, uh, some things I like about him, some things I don't. I do like that he does speak um, uh, very, not just fluently, but in almost a 100% honest way, as far as I can tell. I mean, there's a few things about him he said I don't agree with. And if you listen to my channel, you know about those things. But at the same time, I like the way he is combative enough to want to expose a lot of this crap. He talks just like Trump when he talks about the deep state. And... Uh, in this video here, he, um, Vivek Ramaswamy, he did the best by far in this debate. The rest of them were basically uh, sleep at the wheel, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but one of the things that Vivek did is he uh, called out Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis, calling them Dick Cheney in three-inch heels. That was hilarious. We'll get to that here in just a second. Won't spoil too much of it for you folks, but I got about three or four little uh, short segments here. Won't take too long, but uh, stick around to the end. Uh, like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. And uh, this is actually a little bit comical. He lets uh, Ronald Swami lets NBC and the RNC, Ronald McDaniel, have it, and I love it. Uh, several highlights here, folks. Let's get into it. Your case. Why would you? Uh, why should you be the nominee and not the former president? I think there's something deeper going on in the Republican Party here. And I am upset about what happened last night. We've become a party of losers at the end of the day. We're a cancer in the Republican establishment. Let's speak the truth. I mean, since Ronna McDaniel took over as chairwoman of the RNC in 2017, we have lost 2018, 2020, 2022, no red wave that never came. We got trounced last night in 2023. And I think that we have to have accountability in our party. For that I don't mean to interrupt you folks, but he's absolutely right. Uh, Rona McDaniels should have been gone a long time ago. She is there for the uh, money pool that flows from uh, pushing as many candidates as she can. That is more, uh, more money in the kitty as far as things go. Uh, she is not about winning elections. I think their uh, RNC is establishment. That's just my opinion, but I believe the RNC does not do anything to help uh, the MAGA first, the MAGA America first party uh, what's, whatsoever. And uh, it shows. Let's go ahead and get back into it. Matt Ron, if you want to come on stage tonight, you want to look the GOP voters in the eye and tell them you resign, I will turn over my, yield my time to you. And frankly, look, the people there are cheering for losing in the Republican party. Think about who's moderating this debate. This should be Tucker Carlson, Joe Rogan, and Elon Musk. We'd have 10 times the viewership asking questions that GOP primary voters actually care about and bringing more people into our party. You think the Democrats, I mean, we've got Christian Welker here. You think the Democrats yeah. would actually hire Greg Gutfeld to host a Democratic debate? They wouldn't do it. And so the fact of the matter is, I mean, Christian, I'm going to use this time because this is actually about you in the media and the corrupt media establishment ask you the Trump Russia collusion hoax that you pushed on this network for years. Was that real or was that Hillary Clinton made up disinformation? 
Answer the question. Go. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> this is how we get our country back. That's great. We need accountability because this media rigged the 2016 election. They rigged the 2020 election with a Hunter Biden laptop story. Mr. Ramos, and they're going to rig this election. Your time is up. Accountability. Let me turn That's to Governor, Governor Christie. Why get TikTok banned if you use it? Well, he got into him pretty good right there. He called out the uh, the commentator. He just, um, I like his spirit. I don't like I said. I don't agree with 100 percent of everything he stands for, but I do think we do need a fresh breed of uh, Republican that is willing to speak their mind, like the Marjorie Taylor Greens and Trump and Matt Gates and people with a spine. We need people that will get out there and call things out, expose things, and uh, actually have a want to fix things. I believe Ramaswamy, maybe somewhere down the road. Uh, maybe a good presidential candidate, uh, but at this moment, right now, all he is is maybe uh, vice president uh, material. Who really knows? Maybe that's what they're all shooting for at this point. Well, I, I, I want to laugh at why Nikki Haley didn't answer your question, which is about looking at families in the eye. In the last debate, she made fun of me for actually joining TikTok while her own daughter was actually using the app for a long time. So you might want to take care of your family first. Leave my daughter out of your voice. Adult daughter. The next generation of Americans are using it. And that's actually the point. You have her supporters crapping her up. That's fine. That's how we move forward. But I want to be careful to avoid making the mistakes from the neocon establishment of the past. Corrupt politicians in both parties spent trillions, killed millions, made billions for themselves in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. Fight Listen, folks, I never heard it put that way, but he's absolutely right. Politicians and warmongers have spent trillions, made billions, and killed millions, uh, all in the name of promoting war. And there, that is the loudest truth I've heard in a while. Uh, it's absolutely as accurate as anything I've I've heard today. Fighting wars that sent thousands of our sons and daughters, people my age, to die in wars that did not advance anyone's interests adding seven trillion dollars to our national debt and joe biden sold off our foreign policy joe biden's son hunter biden got a five million dollar bribe from ukraine that's why we're sending 200 billion dollars back to that same country the fact of the matter is the republican party is not that much better you have the likes of nikki haley who stepped down from her time at the u.n bankrupt or in debt is was her family then she becomes a military contractor. She joins the board of Boeing and otherwise, and is now a multimillionaire. So I think that that's wrong when Republicans do it or Democrats do it. That's the choice we face. Do you want a leader from a different generation who's going to put this country first, or do you want Dick Cheney in three-inch heels? All right, Mr. Case... <laughs> oh, I've heard that twice or three times now, folks, and it's still funny to me. He's talking about Ron DeSantis. And Nikki Haley, he says, and we got two of them right here on stage. We've got two of them on stage tonight. Thank you. You're in one minute. We've talked a lot about foreign wars tonight, but we're in the middle of a war right here at home. It's a war not between black and white or Democrat and Republican. It's between those of us who believe in our founding ideals and love this country and a fringe minority who hates the United States of America. And I think it's going to take a commander in chief to lead us to victory in that war, who first of all knows that we're in a war, second of all can't be captured by the special interests along the way, but third is from the next generation, somebody with fresh legs to lead us to victory. I'll shut down the deep state. Now, it's going to be Trump. Sorry, fella. I'll declare economic independence from China. I'll keep us out of World War III and then revive national pride in this country. I also want to close with one message to the Democrat Party. End this farce that Joe Biden is going to be your nominee. We know he's not even the president of the United States. He's a puppet for the managerial class. So have the guts to step up and be honest about who you're actually going to put up so we can have an honest debate. Biden should step aside, end his candidacy now, so we can see whether it's Newsom or Michelle Obama or whoever else. All right, Just tell us the funny. truth so we can have Your an honest debate. <laughs> and even took a dig at Gavin Newsom and Michelle Obama telling Joe Biden's people, just tell us who's running in the race. I love it. I love it, folks. He did a great job of 
Tell me what you think about that one, folks. That was a heck of a, a barn burner for a, a debate. The only person that is better at debating than Ramaswamy is the champ, none other than Trump. Because I know everybody remembers the most famous thing ever said at a debate. When Trump says, because you'd be in jail when he was talking to Hillary. I know you all remember that one too, folks. Everybody have a great day. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Over and out.